Cameroon is a state located below Nigeria and Chad, bordering the Atlantic Ocean. The country has known a colonial past of several decades, but this has not prevented it from keeping its traditions and its atypical culture. And since its independence on January 1st, 1960, Cameroon has remained a land of sharing and a place of diversity. If you're not sure why we say such a thing, well, stay until the end of the video and you would know 10 interesting facts about Cameroon. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. Let's get into it. All of Africa in one country. At least, that's the reputation Cameroon has had for quite some time. Why is that? The reason is quite simple. This country concentrates a bit of everything that the continent has to offer, both in terms of geographical diversity and culture. It is estimated that 250 ethnic groups live in the country, hence its nickname Africa in miniature. This diversity does not stop at ethnic differences. There's also an important religious mix. The country is home to both a Christian community, which represents 40% of the population, a Muslim community that represents 20%, while another 20% are animists. In addition, there is a linguistic diversity with a French speaking as well as an English speaking population. It's simple. You just have to look at a map to understand that diversity is an integral part of the country. It starts with the landscape. In the north, there are desert banks, then come the savannas, the high plateaus, up to Mount Cameroon, which culminates at 4,100 meters of altitude near the coast. Cameroon has also beautiful tropical beaches before moving into the south of the country, which is home to the deep equatorial forest. Nature itself seems to want some diversity for Cameroon, and that is all to its advantage. True Culinary Discoveries You thought you had seen and tasted everything in terms of cuisine, right? Well, unless you have already tasted Cameroonian recipes, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you can easily and expensively feast everywhere in the country, it is quite possible to make amazing culinary discoveries. We're not talking about simple strange spices or sweet and salty mixtures, but about the ingredients themselves. For example, it is possible to eat snakes in Cameroon. Yep, that's right. But that's not all. It is also possible to eat monitor lizards, a common reptile species, as well as crocodile meat with another animal just as tasty, termites. And if you think this is a joke or something dangerous, it's not. If you can find a good restaurant, the Cameroonian chefs will know how to cook these animals with brilliance so that you will not have the slightest problem of digestion. As for the taste, well, it depends on what you are used to. You should know that in Cameroon, viper meat was a dish of nobility. Don't be offended at the idea of tasting it. The most natural fauna. After hearing all the possible meats we just mentioned, you probably suspect that Cameroon is home to some very confusing wildlife, right? But if the viper and crocodile's meat have surprised you, then you're in for some more surprises because Cameroon has many animals of the savanna to showcase. Among them are elephants, giraffes, hippos, cheetahs, buffaloes, antelopes, and even packs of lions. In addition, even though they can be seen on classic safaris, Cameroon is one of the very few countries in the world to have gorillas in their natural habitat. Unfortunately, due to human activity such as poaching and ivory hunting, nearly 70% of these animals are killed. The country is trying to set up protected areas, hoping that these will be effective in preventing the extinction of some species. The country's economic sectors here we go on a subject very specific to the country, since it is its economic activity. This is what makes the country live, and it should not be neglected in this video. Thus, Cameroon has natural agricultural resources that are not lacking in exploitation. The most exported agricultural products of the country are bananas, cocoa, coffee, cotton, or honey. Another exploitation that brings wealth to the country is the mining industry. Because of its geological activity, well represented by Mount Cameroon, for example, the country is home to iron, cobalt, nickel, marble, and even diamond mines. In fact, 
Mining companies in Vancouver and Toronto believe that Cameroon will be a major mining country in the years to come. Finally, the other area in which Cameroon is playing a major role is the oil industry. Fuels such as crude oil and gas are coveted and add economic value to the country. A recognized heritage. For this fact number five, let's talk a little bit about Cameroon's heritage. Two Cameroonian sites are on the UNESCO World Heritage List, which is a major asset for this country. The first site in question is the Ja Wildlife Reserve, which is also one of the largest rainforests in Africa, covering 5,000 square kilometers. That's bigger than Luxembourg. The other recognized site is the Sangha Trinational. This part is also dedicated to nature preservation on the border of the Congo and the Central African Republic. However, there are many other places that are worth a visit, such as the Bafud Chiefdom. This place is a microstate governed by a decree of 1977, once the era of colonialism was over. Today, the country still has several dozens of them, although they are losing their real influence, often to the benefit of mayors. The Cameroonian national football or soccer team. If there's one more thing that makes Cameroon proud, it is its national football or soccer team. This country is often talked about for its national soccer team, nicknamed the Indomitable Lions. It is the first African country to have reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup. This happened in 1990 when the team was selected by Valerie Nepomniachtchi. Scoring two goals against England, Cameroon failed to equalize before the final whistle and found themselves losing by three goals. At that time, the team's captain was the famous Stephen Tatao. Tatao died in July 2020, leaving the entire country in mourning for its iconic right-back defensive player. Since then, the national Cameroonian team has yet to make a name for itself, but could perhaps welcome some talent in the future. A capital city with a variety of people. It is often said that Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon, it is the city of civil servants. In fact, one can recognize them by their suits. So far, no problem. However, if you were told that in the city of Yaoundé, everyone is a little afraid of everyone else, you might have trouble understanding. However, this is indeed the case. In the capital, people generally keep to themselves for fear of running into someone close to a high-ranking person, be it a neighbor, a relative, or an uncle. This is the reason why you can hear people say, do you know who I am? during a collision in the street. On the other hand, and if the city can be frequented by high-ranking people, it is necessary to know that the pickpockets roam and represent a public stake. They are very discreet and use blades to cut the seams of the pockets and recover their contents. Sometimes some pickpockets manage to sell to a person their own phone that they have just stolen. As you can see, the contrast between the different social classes is very pronounced in Cameroon. Cameroonian fabrics. Let's move on to the eighth fact with a traditional object of Cameroon, the fabric. It is important to know that Cameroon is divided into 10 distinct regions. Each of them has different cultures and these cultures themselves have traditional costumes. An example of this is the Kaba and Sanja along the coastal region. The men wear the Sanja and the women wear the Kaba. In the northwest of Cameroon, the Togu and Atogu are worn. Behind these fabrics, there's a real history of tradition. This tradition comes from the missionaries who brought Christianity to Cameroon, not appreciating to see Cameroonians dressed poorly. The Christians encouraged them to wear lointh cloths to hide their nudity. Time did its work and Cameroonians eventually adapted these fabrics. Today, these outfits have evolved so that they vary from region to region. Traditional music. Since ancient times, Traditional music has been the means of commemorating the facts and events that have marked a family, an ethnic group, or people during its life. The music of Cameroon is no exception and is therefore rich in sounds and vibrations. One can notice the use of instruments such as vet, the tam-tam, -tam, the drum, the balafon, and many other forms of percussions. Nowadays, as everywhere in the world, the opening of the country and the new technologies have ended up having their influence on the Cameroonian musical universe, so much so that this music is proudly represented throughout the world between tradition and modernity. 
Yannick Noah fits this description perfectly. Yes, the former tennis player of French and Cameroonian origin has been successful in the world of music with a variety of styles. Other icons of Cameroonian music are Charlotte Dipanda, Manu Dibango, or Ben and Grace Decca, whose favorite music field is Makosa, a popular music style. The Cameroonian flag explained. The three colors of the flag are the Pan-African colors. The green represents the southern equatorial forest of Cameroon, progress and the hope of a rich and prosperous Cameroon. The golden yellow represents the sun, wealth, durability, soil and savanna of the country. The last band is red and symbolizes authority and the link between the different regions of the country. Finally, the gold star placed in the middle of the flag represents the union of the country, which acts as a single, strong and indivisible state. The meaning of this flag is therefore very rich and evokes the deep values of the country. There you have it folks. You have now learned 10 facts about Cameroon. Which fact surprised you the most? Tell us your impressions in the comments. If you like this video and if it impressed you, show us by putting a like and subscribing to our Africa Revealed channel. On that note, we hope to see you soon in our new videos. Bless.